Hi everyone, it's MJ and welcome back to the Actuarial Podcast. In today's video, we're going to be talking about changes in the exam structure. Now, this is a bit of a tricky video to do and, and to understand why it's a tricky video, you need to understand that we have one actuarial syllabus and this is set by the International Actuarial Association. However, each local actuarial society can create their own curriculum on how best to deploy that syllabus. So this is why we see the Americans have got different exams to the English. What we're going to be doing in this video, though, is looking at the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries based in England and the changes that they've made to their curriculum. The reason why we're doing that is because they kind of influence the rest of the world, uh, specifically the countries that were, yeah, you know, that used to be colonies of theirs. So South Africa, India, Australia, um, these countries will all very much follow what England does. America has become a lot more independent with the, the exam structure and all of that. But what we're going to see is we all do follow the same syllabus. Like I say, the curriculum is a little bit different. So this video is maybe not that much directed towards the American viewers, but definitely the rest of us, um, we are going to feel a lot of these changes. And, and what I want to do is I want to focus on three of the big changes that they've made. Uh, the three changes are we're adding in a lot more data science and programming. Uh, we're restructuring some of the exams. We're combining subjects and we're making a few changes to the overall structure and the name. So let's maybe start with that last one first. Um, one of the big changes that you're going to be seeing is we're going to be dropping the terms core technical and, and core applications. And now we're going to be using the terms core principles and core practices. Also, with the core technical exams, we had exam one all the way down to exam nine. Now what we've done is we've grouped them into three broad categories. We have statistics, we have business, and we have um, actuarial mathematics. I think it's, it's, it's either business or it's finance. It's, it's tricky because in that umbrella, you have your subject CT2, which was very much um, finance and accounting, uh, CT7, which was general economics, and you had CT9, which was uh, business management. So those three have all kind of been grouped under that umbrella. We see that with um, actuarial statistics, before we had subjects CT3, CT4, and CT6 being very statistical. We now have subject CT3 becoming actuarial statistics one, and uh, I wish they didn't do this, but they have joined CT4 and CT6 together. Um, what we see on the actuarial uh, mathematics side, uh, they have combined subjects uh, CT1 with CT5, so that is that's going to become quite tricky now, and subject CT8, which a lot of people regard as one of the hardest exams. Um, subjects, yeah, the, the business ones or financial ones, I found those to be very, very easy. Uh, they're very straightforward, uh, whereas the other ones do get a little bit, uh, a little bit crazy. And, and that's why I'm a little upset that they've taken the hard subjects and they've combined the hard subjects uh, because, I mean, it, it was hard enough studying for some of these subjects on their own. Now you've got both of their material being joined together. And one thing that they've done is they've made some of the material non-examinable, but you still need to know it in order to do some of the other things. So though they say you have, they haven't increased the amount of material that's going to be examined, they have increased the amount of work that you need to do, which I know they tried not to do it, and I know they're saying they're not doing it, but I kind of get the feeling that this new curriculum is going to be a lot harder. Also, what we see is the introduction of data science and programming, and I'm very happy for that. I think that is very much needed, especially with all these rumors that data scientists are better than actuaries and, and all that type of garbage. I think it's important that our syllabus reflects that you know actuaries are comfortable with using a computer. We can do this stuff, and we are you know going to maintain our position um, in the economy you know around data and and all that type of stuff. So I think that's good. But yeah, the combining of the subjects, I think, is unfortunate. It's going to be tricky. It's going to be interesting to see how that affects the pass rates. Um, I mean, there's a very easy way to counter that, and that is to make, I think, some of the questions a little bit easier. But um, overall, 
I'm very, very happy that I'm finished with these actual exams because this new curriculum does look like a bit of a challenge. Um, but like I said, this is coming from the Institute and Faculty of, of um, Actuaries. Um, we do see syllabus changes happening all the, cha all the time, so constantly being updated. Curriculums are also refreshed, different names. Uh, that's why when you sometimes do past papers, you see they're called different names. And it does get a little bit confusing, but I do think that the overall structure that they've given to it now makes it a little bit more understandable. And um, I think we're going to see this being the, the way forward. So I don't see any major changes being made, uh, maybe a few tweaks here or there. But uh, just to end off this video, the three big changes were changing of the, the names, you know, from core technical to core principles and putting things in those three umbrella terms. Um, the second was the fact that they've joined some exams like CT1 and CT5 together and CT4 and CT6 together. That's going to be tough. Um, and then also the introduction of uh, programming and, and data science. There, there always has been that, but now they're, they're testing it more. They're making more direct exams around that. So those are the big changes. Like I say, there are a few other changes with um, the, the core, core practices. Um, the communication exam now has to be done on the computer um, and the actuarial risk management one. They've also changed a little bit of the structure there. But those are just some of the additional minor changes that they've made. So I do recommend that you guys go and read up on this stuff for yourself. But yeah, we've just discussed three of the biggest changes. Anyway, let me know your thoughts um, in the section below. Remember, if you want to get exemptions for these subjects, you need to have passed both CT4 and CT6. If you've only done one, it sucks to be you because you're going to have to rewrite that uh, joined up one. So... Yeah, it's a few people are going to be upset, but hopefully in the long run, uh, this is better for the profession as a whole. Anyway, keep well, guys, and yeah, see you next time. Cheers.